What's going on guys? Kai Vox and Mika Chi here and I think I'm gonna get it right this time. We are doing our wrap up for July. Mm -hmm. What's that mean? What? I don't get what I'm doing. <laughs> Using your arm as a cell phone? How many books did you read? 18. I read six. I beat you. Obvi. I actually read one that was not on my list. Yeah, did you? Time. It wasn't on the list? I did. My okay. list was these books. And we were going to find out which ones I didn't read. What did I read? I, you expect me to keep up with what you are going to read? What are you doing right now? You literally have the books right here. right in front of you. They're right in front of us. I could see them. All right. So the first book I finished in July is The Crystal Shard. This is cheating a little bit because I started this book already in June. And I had like maybe, I don't know, a third of the book left in July. But I finished it in July. I love these books. I know Kaivak started reading this and he doesn't love it. But I love these books. Look, I really want to like it. This one, I, I have to say... Second time around, I found more flaws in it than I did originally. Um, I feel like there are just so many, like, things they're throwing at you that they don't really explain for a long time. And it does get a bit much at certain points. Um, and I could see why you would think that way. Okay. So... My heart, because of nostalgia, wants to give it a five stars, but I probably won't. Oh, no. Because I did find it a little hard to get through Mick, we at don't some vote points. with the, we don't We don't rate with our hearts. We rate with our butts. I would probably say <laughs> I don't say know what that is... means. You're going to kill me. We don't rate with our butts. 4.5. I mean, we don't rate with our hearts. We rate with our butts. Okay. Four point five because it was a little, a little uh, boring at times. I, I don't know. Oh boring. my god! You're gonna say that out loud about your boy, your husband? I know it's hard, but I do love Dritz and the series, and I plan. If you see my TBR spoiler, I plan on trying to pick up the next books book in the series. I want to make my way through these. I started it. Drip, drip books. I think I'm pretty far in it. Let me check where I am. I think I'm fairly, like, I'm at a good place right now. Oh, it somehow synced up with yours. So I don't know where I am now. That sucks. Yeah. Which that's one of the, never that's one of the reasons I didn't finish it because I was just like, well, I'm not going to spend like a half an hour trying to figure out where I was because I have oh, no idea. No. I have no idea if I was like, like five hours in or eight hours in, you know, and it's just like one of those things. It's like, ugh, this is going to suck. I'm in the book somewhere. I will finish it someday. Hopefully this year, just to kind of fluff off my, uh, my amount of books read. Cause I already started it. Might as well finish it. You know what I mean? That sucks though. I hate when that happens. Cause we both have that sync thing turned off. So mm -hmm. how does it screw it up? The next book I do not have a physical copy for. I received an e-arc of it, Viaticum by Patrick Morgan. And I, I started it probably about a week before it came out, but I finished it the week it did come out. Um, so it is out. I, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would based on the synopsis, which I don't really remember what the true synopsis is, but it didn't really tell you much of what was going on and what was going to happen. And I was a bit confused. I didn't know what to expect. Um, and I gotta say the beginning of it was a bit slow for me, but once I got to like the, the middle and I kind of had something to look forward to in the book and something like, I guess my, my problem with it initially was I didn't know where the story was going to go. Like I didn't know end game. I didn't know goals. I didn't know, you know, what to look forward to. And once I got to a certain point, I kind of figured all of that out and it made it way more interesting to me. Um, so I actually ended up really enjoying it. I definitely want to read more from this author. I have one other book by him. It's uh, Apparent Horizon, and it's like a sci-fi book. So that'll probably be the next one I read from this author. So... I'm 
based on the other books, I originally gave this four stars on Goodreads. And I, I liked it enough that I'll keep the Goodreads rating, but I think on my board compared to other things. Oops. I'm going to go down to 3.5. Yeah, it's a good book. I enjoyed it. Um, I really don't know how to explain it to you, and I kind of see why the synopsis was a bit vague. By the way, if you guys like these, um, you guys probably already know about it, but we do have them up on our Etsy shop, um, and there'll be a new one for next year as well. So it's like a yearly thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, you read the next book. What is it? What's the next one? Unearthed. Unearthed? So I read this one because I thought it was the book club book. Oh, I skipped one. Because I, right. I didn't um, realize that it wasn't. It was the <laughs> rap book. And um, I thought it sounded kind of interesting. So I was like, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. I really enjoyed this book. How much did you really enjoy it? Mm, I would say I expected less because it's a YA sci-fi. I expected to hate the characters more because I just don't relate to YA characters as much as I used to. I mean, I am. There was a little now. bit too much, like lust, you know. I like, disagree. Like the, just a hair too much. Mm -hmm. It was just like it was like oh, boy and girl, instantly lusting over each other. You know, like I was just like, okay, I guess it's a teenage book. That's how they're written. That's how they are. Um, that was one thing I didn't like about it. I really liked the world. Mm -hmm. I really liked um, the idea. Um, I thought the ending felt a little fell a little short. Um, Clearly, I didn't understand the ending like I thought I did because we mm -hmm. talked about it after, and I was yeah. like, "Oh." So now, when I explained it to you, huh? When I explained it to you, yeah. was it better or worse? It wasn't worse. I mean, I I don't was think it, it really, better. I don't think it changed my mind really. Okay. On the overall feel, I just I I agree with you. I enjoyed. I, I enjoyed the characters. They weren't the best characters on the planet, but I did. No, the characters were fine. It's just, like, when they throw stuff like that, <clears throat> just for that, like, oh, oh, you know, oh. Um, it's just, like, to me, it just doesn't do, it doesn't, oh, me. It's just, like, oh. That's, like, the opposite type of oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I like, did ugh. enjoy, like, what, like, the plot of the story and the overall plot and there's one other book to this series um it's only going to be a duology i think so and it takes place in the pretty far future mm -hmm. right the, there's some there's some planets we've discovered and moons and stuff like that and there's a place and they're like exploring this place there's like some hidden stuff there it's kind of like a tomb raider-esque like they're trying to make it through some puzzles and stuff like that but there's also like the chance of them dying and blah 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 and there's all this cool stuff it's pretty good it's pretty good it's not bad. Yeah. I, I wouldn't. I want to get the it. next book um, and read it pretty soon before I forget this one. What did you read? No, you go first. Oh, no. I'm going to base mine off of yours. I'm going to say four. I really enjoyed it. So since I, I honestly, next year, I'm going to make two versions of this. I'm going to make a, a small and a medium. No, a small and a large. Medium and a large. I don't know. I'm going to make a smaller version than this. So it won't be as big, but it also won't have as many slots. So he so, looks like he's more impressive. So I, I just, some people are more, more accomplished. some people are more like me. You know what I mean? Like it's such a waste of like thing. I know that I'm not going to read a hundred books. So why do I need a hundred spaces? I don't. Okay. Me. Can you not, not judge me all the time? I always knew. Judge me. Uh, I still love you. Uh, there you go. A tree and a half. Not so bad. I gave it that because you gave it a four and I didn't like it as much as you. So Got I it. was judging it based on you, what you judged it on. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah. I think it does. Ew, is this like one of those like lovey-dovey, lovey stuffies? So, yeah. Sort of. It looks so, like a lovey dovey This stuffy, was my puppy. wrapped book. It was recommended by uh, Christy. And me. And you. And I, you know, I really. Unless you hated it. I did enjoy, I, I did enjoy it. Okay, it was I me did then. enjoy it. It was me then. Um, I thought the concept was really cool. I don't normally like stories about witches, um, and this had witches in it, but I really liked the world. Is this the witch hunter one? Yeah. 
Okay. So I really liked the world. I really liked, um, I wouldn't say the magic system because they don't really go into it. I liked, I liked the main character. Um, I just found it really interesting in the beginning. Like, you know, I feel like the author just wrote the scenes really well and what was going on. I found myself being like invested and interested, but then it got a little ridiculous. Cliche. There was a cliche. Uh, yeah, it got really Is cliche. cliche a French word? Probably. Sounds it, right? It did get cliche, and it got, like, a little tropey, too tropey towards the middle slash end. That being said, it was still well written. Um, I just have, the older I get, the more I, like, realize I, I'm not a huge YA fan anymore at, at this point in my life. And, um, however... I did think it was well written. I enjoyed the overall story. It was a little lacking for me in the end. Do I think I'll continue? No. But I didn't hate my time reading it. I'll allow it. Mm. What does that take away from me, man? I gave it a three. Mm. So I finally <sighs> finished a Bible. Oathbringer. Um, this is now officially my longest book I've ever read. Is it how big? It was like 1,300 or something? 1,230 pages. So yeah, this book was freaking epic. I I wouldn't say it's my favorite in the series. Um, if I had to be realistic, I would say book one would probably be like a star for me. And then wow, this one and book two are probably about the same for me. God, yeah, realize. they're really cool. I don't even know what that is. Um. I just, he, I, I don't understand how this man can come up with this super complex story, get everything straight, mer merge it into like an entire universe of books put together and write other books in between and not get screwed up I know, <laughs> like, you, in you his get, head. You get lost just from reading just them. Just reading it. Like, Imagine I if you had to come up with your own thing. I can't believe how amazing he is as an author. I, I can't tell you anything about this book besides it's really good and the series is really good. And Kaivox needs to finish this book. And uh, I just, I can't. I, if you don't like the series, who even are you? I mean, this book may be in our uh, in my TBR for for this month. Who knows? You got to go check out that video. Shameless plug, baby. I'm a little ashamed, actually. Sp partially shameful. Plug. Why? Uh, wait, we got to vote. <laughs> I was gonna give you the the next book already. So this is definitely cinco. How do you say it in Japanese? Wait, go. wait. Oh, gomen. I was going to try. I was going to go Ichi, Ni, San, she. she, Go. Did you know Go? No, but I remembered what you just oh. said. I smart. It took me two months to the day to finish it. So I started it on June 1st and I finished it on July 31st. So I'm not too mad about it. It's a 1,200 page book. I finished it in two months amongst other books. So What's for again? She or Yon. There's two different ways. Okay, to so say it. you're telling me that it's Ichi, Ichi ni, Ichi ni, San, San she. she, San she, go, go. So it's literally all American words. Ichi ni, San, San. Yeah, that's what I said. She, go. and then go. Yeah. So easy, guys. <laughs> Japanese. Just just say it in English. And then Roku. She no, now you're just making things up. Those aren't real things. Are we doing this one next? Yeah, sure. The Sword of Kaigen. Speaking of Japanese, the Sword of Kagan. Kaigen. 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 I liked this book a lot. Um, we had a, a we're not going to go super in depth, but we had a full spoiler discussion on a live stream. Um, if you read it and you want to watch the spoiler review or whatever, you can watch that. But. I really enjoyed it. I thought this book had amazing character development. I thought the story was really good. Um, I, I can't... I guess the only thing that makes it kind of upsetting to me is that this is a prequel to a trilogy that's partially out, but now they don't plan on finishing it. That's my right now. worst thing about it, too, is, like, it, it sets up some things, but it also, like... 
just gives us so many questions and doesn't answer 90% of those questions. It answers quite a few, but not, uh, you're, no. It does not. <laughs> All of those people that they, like, the people at the end that they introduced, possibly, like, bad guys, possibly good guys, it's like, we know nothing about them still when we finish the book. You know? I, I don't know. I mean, I had a really good time reading it. I thought the magic was really cool. I thought... Um, how they kind of explain the magic in this world. I don't want to spoil anything. So I found that really well done. Well, some people have like ice powers and they're like physically cold yeah. to the touch. And like they have like a cold aura to them. Um, in some ways, they're colder than like the the deepest winter. You know, so it'll be cold outside, but you'll be next to this person. that's colder around them than anywhere else. Um, so, yeah, that's what she means. I also, that, that doesn't spoil anything. No, and I like the fact that I didn't know this going into it, but like it's kind of a modern world, but they are this area that we're reading is set like they live like they're from the olden times in essentially. So I found that kind of cool. I just And it's like samurai esque. Very yeah. samurai esque. We yeah. then didn't even talk about that at all during the the book club yeah we didn't talk about like swords or any of that which but is it's, like a huge it's, part of it. it's tr straight up like traditional like japanese japanese like. culture in some ways and like d definitely inspired by like mm -hmm. the japanese we just recently watched Roroni kenshin um the beginning and it was very much that like i like you know that, movie, yeah. that like women have have their roles and men have their roles and the honor and all this stuff and they have to be they have to, you know, fight for their honor and all that stuff. And that's very much what this world is about. Like feudal Japan in the modern day. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it, though. Like for me, the number one thing was the characters and like the character development of certain characters um, just and really hit home for me. The sort of the sort of Kaigen, the location, right? Kaigen, right there. That's that place. Yeah. They call it a sort of Kaigen because it's like, is it an island? No, no, I don't. Think it was so. just like a. Peninsula is that what they're remember. called? Like the thing that is there a map? All all books have maps nowadays. I never really understood the 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 geography of the book, like where exactly they were. So there's that. But anyway, you liked it a little bit more than me. Yeah. So what would you rate this book? If you guys want to see like our in depth thoughts, I thought it was a pretty good book club. Um, it was uh, there was a lot of strong emotions there ow Ooh. that's my face my dude <laughs> sorry i i gave it a oh yeah what did you a give four it? 4.5 or 4, four excuse point me 4. 5 just a 4 what did you all give right. it? I right, i'll try not to poke your eye out all right you want to put it on there no what did a tree a 3 that bad it's not bad it's it's middle of the grade middle True. of the middle of the thing what else was on there yeah yeah will and it's White. the other like type of Type Apparently, of I don't like feudal Japan style of, but actually this one is, no, it is very much like very kind of like fantasy sword fighting type thing, but <laughs> I don't know. I love anime. I love Japan, but I feel like people just don't get it right. In my opinion. Is my book last? Mm -hmm. Come on, last book, baby. That's it for me. I read six. Six is good. Well, I, this book is heavy. Feel it. I, I brought no, it up I, here. No, I would like you to feel it, please. Oh, it's so heavy, right? It's so heavy. Ready? Make your hand flat. You just threw it on my hand. You, uh, I meant you, to drop you, it. You literally it went like this. Job. You went. No. Look how heavy it is. Ready? Yeah. It made the same noise. Can you guys tell how heavy it is by the, the speed that it fell, even though they would fall at the same speed if it was lighter? So this cover is pretty cool. See all those cool like statue stuff, and then you got a hand like puppeting them, like somebody's puppeting everybody. Does that make everybody. sense to the story? This, like half. Um, there are a lot. If you have re not read this book yet, and you you have read the other two in the series, the um, the War of Broken Mirrors, book three by Andrew Rowe. If you guys know anything about my books, what are you doing? Looking at your books. Um, by by the, the books that I like. I really like Andrew Rowe's series. This is a part of the um, Arcane Ascension series. Not a part of it, but it's in the same universe, and it they connect in some ways. Um, this one, timeline-wise, takes place before uh, all of those books. 
the Arcane Ascension books. Um, so this is like the first three. These first three are the first three in the timeline. Is they, this the end of this series? I don't know. Oh. It seems like it is. It definitely seems... I think this is the end, at least for one of the characters. Yeah. Um, before he moves into the, that series, into the um, Arcane Ascension series. Um, they don't... There's so much information about on in this book. The one thing I don't like about this book, these the, the mirror books, and this is your same gripe with it. Um, they follow like four people throughout the whole book. And it's always like, it's like, like if we go to one of the chapters, it'll usually have the person's name. John and Jonin. Yeah, like Jonin one. Karis, not Karis, Salarian or something, you know, two, like type of thing. Jonin yeah, two. Yeah, you're see? right. Um, so, I didn't remember that. So depending on who who the chapter is in the, po the point of view of, it'll be... Um, Tylenol. Talen. Tylenol. Um, uh, two. So depending on what chapter it is of theirs, right? It, it, it does it. But the other gripe is that each character has multiple names. Well, there are code names. I have two names. I literally have two names. I know. So, but it, it just, it, and for so me, do it, you. it made it difficult. Um, I, I know. I get that it, like, and yes, I agree. There are there's there's a two. You said there are two female characters that the only way I know who they are is ba based on what they're doing. Yeah. I, I I always would get lost, and I was like, "Who is this again? Is this?" They, and there were parts of this book that I was like, "I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't get. I don't understand this." And then and I'm just like, "Hopefully, this gets explained to me a little bit later." So. And, and it's just the way that the book is written. It's just he writes this book differently than he writes the other books. And he specifically the other one's more of like a like a coming of age, like like adventure. Um, uh, he has a specific thing for it, but that's how I see it. Like adventure, kind of like school mm. power school, like learning your powers mm. at school and stuff like that. But there's like some some other like higher up stuff going on. And the stuff that's happening there is somewhat connected to the stuff that's happening in, in this book as well. The world, I really like. I really like the world. I like how this book is so different than the other one because it's like a different land. The other land has like a god that like pulled away from this one and like set up her own territory there. That's Selyse. But Selyse hasn't been seen in like several, several years. Like she hasn't been heard from in forever. Um, but everybody there still worships her and there's all this crazy stuff. But they reveal a bunch of stuff at the end of this book. And um, I would say like you have to read it to like enjoy the other books better. I kind of wish I read this one. I kind of wish I read all three of but these. But this wasn't even written when Arcane is. I know, I know. But I, I, I think it would have been cool to read all of these and then read the other one. But it was also cool to read it in the order because like there's some reveals and stuff that happened in a certain order. But I think it would also be cool to like look back and remember these old ones, you know? It's like watching all the Marvel movies in cinematic order, like the order that they came out in theaters, right? Or watching it in chronological order. You We're can, watching chronological We are, now, right? because we can, yeah. right? But if you watch it during the, while the movies are coming out, it's still enjoyable in different, in a different way. Mm -hmm. Because they have those reveals at certain times that you wouldn't have known. But if you watch it in, in, in chronological order, it's still enjoyable because you're like, oh, now this makes more sense later on in this movie. It's cool, blah, 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 you know? So either way, I think you could enjoy it. Um, I would just say at least there's three series. There's the um, what's the book the the sword one? The six sacred swords they're called something. Oh, weapons and wielders, and then there's um, arcane. Uh, arcane ascension, and then there's um, the the mirrors, the broken or mirrors. Broken mirrors. So broken mirrors is the first in the timeline. The um, the 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 weapons and wielders are kind of in the middle, but it takes pl like th they technically take place. Yeah, during no i know but the story but the character is in book two of arcane ascension telling a story that takes place in his past which takes place after this book does that make sense yeah to me because i read it but to others probably not <laughs> okay you're gonna open it for me oh look at you you're so nice look at you all right um i'm gonna give this one a Four. Mm. Oh no no no! It has to be a four point five. Why? I'm judging it based on the, no no. It's a four. It's a four. 
I'm I'm judging it on the other books. Cause that's how I that's how I set up my ratings, right? If gotcha. I if this is a five, and and if if this is a five, this wasn't as good, so therefore it cannot be a five. Got but it. I did enjoy this a lot. But I I would say I'd enjoyed it as much as these, <laughs> so that's why I had to. I was gonna put it there. I was like, did I like it? No, because I did like it as much as this one. It, it just my brain had a lot of math to do there, real quick. I think that's it, right? I think we did. I think you did fairly well. <laughs> Yeah, I, <laughs> I think you never. I'm a little really. worried about August now. I feel like I got a little ambitious, but we'll see. Yeah, if you guys want to see that video, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna make it this month. Through, You're, you'll you'll be fine. I'm gonna just like read them, but not remember anything. I'm gonna just play them in my sleep, you know, no. like Amla du Flamage from Dexter, Dexter's Lab. Who remembers that episode? It was a great episode. Do you remember that episode? I never saw it. Oh man, it's so good. I'm gonna get a record. I'm gonna put the books on record. I'm gonna I'm gonna attach them. Put them on the headphones. Put them on the record player. Listen, and by the morning, I will have the whole book memorized, just like Amla du Flamage. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, did we just become best friends? Yup. You have a word for them to pop in that chat. Potion. I mean, oh, potion. Okay. So if you guys stay tuned this long, leave that comment. Leave a comment if you guys like us. Uh, like the video, subscribe, all that the jazz, you know. Um, but also leave a comment with the word potion in it. And then we'll know, like, yo, these people are dope, son. These guys, these guys are like, whatever, yo. You know what I'm saying? They don't even care. They don't even care. They're just like caution to the wind. Who cares? Throw that poop on that fan, you know? Just like, they're like, they don't care. This got a little awkward. Did it? Why? You never throw poop on the fan? Uh, no. And hopefully you don't poop either. Poop fans are the best. And so are um, shadow poops. We've talked about shadow poops before. <laughs> shadow poops in the fan are like the best. Okay. Do you not agree? Uh, I don't. Well, you want you want non-shadow poops. Yeah. You want like, you want visible poops all over the fan. <laughs> you know what that means? That means that the poop would go everywhere. You oh get poop on God. everything in the room. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, Meek, you want to say bye? Bye, Meek. Uh, bye, bye, bye.